Ms. Babao said cancer statistics continue to rise, yet the Rural Society of PNG is unaware of it. She said detrimental social habits like excessive boy chewing, smoking and alcohol consumption were key elements in cancer-related diseases. Ms. Babao highlighted that awareness is the first solution to address cancer in PNG. I also refuse to constantly watch people die from cancer because of seeking medical help far too late. Chair Lady of the PNG Cancer Foundation, Dr. Linda Sirigoy, said cancer is a chronic disease, therefore it allows for chronic burdens as well. She further stated that cancer victims are not the only sufferers, but their families and relatives also get consumed by the disease. Because I don't believe it's fair to say it's my life, it's my health. Because yes, it is your life, it is your health, but when it comes to caring, your family comes on board, your relatives come on board, your community comes on board. And so it's important that cancer becomes everybody's business. The PNG Cancer Foundation can only do so much, but the core unit that needs to be addressed is cancer data collection. A cancer registry is required in PNG to efficiently treat cancer patients. At present, we don't have one, so it only makes sense to acquire credible information in order to really make an impact in the area of cancer treatment. However, the National Health Service standards under the Health Department has produced a cancer care policy and Papua New Guinea should expect to see its implementation by the end of this year. The PNG Cancer Foundation First Ladies High Tea was sponsored by BNG Trading under their brand Lipton Tea.